All right, you guys, this be your boy Scott, Scotty reporting live from my job in my car on my lunch break. Right, so um, we're going to get right on into this right quick. So I was on a neighborhood talk, and there was this story about this woman. Apparently, she was blackmailing and extorting money from two men um, to buy her silence, pretty much, because they were both in a closet. She took the Facebook Live and exposed two men, and later, um, she was later found murdered as a result of that. And I'm just here to give y'all my personal opinion on this, okay? Number one... Being a gay man in this world, being someone that was technically DL before, people don't understand that life. You know, everybody, most people that are gay <coughs> and are out, they all started off in a closet. And my thing about this is I really don't feel like it's anyone's business to expose anybody's sexuality. You know, I don't I don't feel like it's right to expose anybody's sexuality. Now, do I think that it's right to be fucking on a woman and then don't tell her that you fucking on niggas too? No, I don't think that's right either. Do I like DL men? No, I do not. There was a time in my past where I dated a DL man and um come to find out, um, that was my actual my second relationship actually. I was dating this dude. I was 21. He was 26 at the time. And um, we were dating for months. And come to find out, he was um, talking to a girl that was in the same damn circle of friends as me at the time. So that was crazy to me. You know what I mean? So all in all, he's out of the closet now. You know, we good. We cool, whatever. But um, at the same point in time, it's kind of like, yeah, there's it, it's like a double edged sword to be honest. Like I, 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 I never been down with the whole let's expose this nigga for being gay. Let's expose this nigga for being gay because I'm just going to be 100 percent honest with you. There is a lot of motherfuckers in my I'm not even going to say in my city. There's a lot of down low motherfuckers that have hit me up, send me DMs, hit me up on Facebook, hit me up on Snapchat, all types of shit. Wanting the fuck and all types of stuff. Have I exposed any of their ass? No. No. Because for one, at the end of it all, it's kind of like this. You're exposing somebody and you don't even know um, what they're going through or anything like that. Now, I know people don't have sympathy for down low men, but at the same point in time, it's hard enough coming out of the closet and being ridiculed and being judged by people. But at the same time, it's like when you expose somebody for that, that just... It changes everything when you expose a motherfucker to the point to where they will kill your ass. And that's why I don't like fucking with down low niggas and shit like that. Because if you utter a word about that shit, they will kill your ass. You know what I mean? And, for, and, and I feel like to go on Facebook Live and do that was fucked up. And I'm not saying that she... I'm not saying that at the same point in time, she deserved to be murdered. You know what I mean? Because I feel like nobody deserves to have their life taken away from them. But at the same time, mind your business. It's none of your business. You know what I mean? It, it, this is just um, a situation of when not minding your business goes wrong. Mind your business. If a nigga on the down low and he fucking niggas and shit, it is not your business. It's not. As much as we don't like that shit, it's not our business. The only person business that it is, is the, is the motherfuckers he fucking. The nigga and the bitch that he fucking. It's not our place to expose anything. That ain't got nothing to do with us. I just feel like it, she was dead ass wrong for exposing the niggas. She was dead ass wrong for, ex, uh, for extorting the motherfucking niggas and then still expose their ass. Ain't no telling what was going on in their head. They probably felt like I gave this bitch money to shut the fuck up and she still going to put me on blast. You know what I'm saying? So I, I really don't know. Um, I feel bad for her. Um, Because, like I said, I don't feel like I never be saying, oh, she deserved to be killed. I never say that. But this is just one of those situations where your mouth get you in trouble and her mouth got her in trouble simple as that you can't go out exposing people's lives like that especially when they didn't give you 
It's like you're emotionally raping somebody in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't tell you. It's like, you know what I mean? It's like, I didn't tell you you could do that. You went and did it anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like emotional rape in a sense. If that, if that, if that's even a term, you know what I mean? Like I said, no, like who told you you could do that? So I don't know you guys, but, um, that's what I got to say about that. Um, let's talk below. What do you guys think? Let's be respectful. We can all agree to disagree. Let's be respectful. Let's have a discussion about this. What do you guys think? Um, what are your thoughts? What are your opinions on this? Um, be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Do whatever you see fit. Um, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Scotty underscore by underscore nature. Um, here, Scotty, Mrs. Still Standing here for all your wretched ass needs, whether it be for um, commentary on ratchet reality shows, hot topics such as this one, or just all around real talk. With that being said, you guys, enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out of here. Peace out. Shit.